write an effective technical document, you need to know the topic and you need to know the audience. We discussed the importance of knowing the topic in the last video and in this video, we are going to talk about knowing your audience. This quote from the book Writing Proposals captures my philosophy about audience analysis and it talks about how questions and prompts can help writers put themselves in the minds of the readers and by imagining themselves in the reader's place, writers can develop the most appropriate content, organization, style and design for the documents they are creating. When I start a new technical writing project, I use this audience analysis worksheet to get into the mindset of the user so that it helps me write an effective document for that user. The first step is to understand the reader experience. So I want to know what level of knowledge does that reader have about the technology that I'm writing for and also in general, what is their programming skill. Then I want to know why are they reading my document? What brought them to this document? How did they come across the document? What information do they already have about the feature and what new information or new questions do they have about it? I also want to know what's the state of the mind of the reader when they are reading my document. Are they curious about the product and want to learn more? Are they excited about trying out this new technology or have they been trying to debug a feature for a while now and they're just stuck or frustrated or angry? Based on this question, I can decide whether the tone of the document should be enthusiastic, conversational, empathetic, apologetic. I also ask myself what are the possible devices the reader may use to read this document because the length of the sentences and the readability and the length of the paragraphs and all those things kind of depend on what device they are reading on and also kind of gives me an idea of the reader's attention span that I can expect. And then I want to know how will they read this document? Will they just scan it casually or will they read it very thoroughly or will they just read it in bits and parts? So once I understand the reader experience, I move on to understanding the document requirements. So based on the answers so far, I need to decide what the reader is trying to achieve by reading that document. Are they trying to solve a problem, perform a task, answer a question, make a decision, learn something new or receive some news? And to understand the topic, what else does the reader need? Do they need background? Do they need instructions? Do they need examples? Do they need deep dives? Should there be visuals and diagrams and tables or FAQs? What would help the reader achieve the goal? that we identified in this step. Figuring that out helps me decide the type of document I need to write. Should it be a tutorial? Should it be a how-to guide? Should it be a reference doc, conceptual doc, FAQ, or some other type of doc? If you need help determining that, I highly recommend you check out this excellent resource. It gives you a detailed analysis of each type of document and when to use each type of document. And this is a new step I added based on the unconscious bias examination that I did a couple of weeks ago. And every time I take on a new technical writing project, I want to make sure that I examine my unconscious bias and I write a document that is as inclusive and as accessible as I can. I know that I will not get it right and I know I'll make mistakes, there will always be scope for improvement, but I want to make this a conscious step and I want to keep working on it and I want to keep learning about it. If you have subscribed to my newsletter, you would already have received an email with access to this worksheet. If you don't see that email, check your spam folder. And if you haven't subscribed to the newsletter yet, you can find the link in the description box below. To use this worksheet, you'll need a Notion account and you can sign up for a free account. Once you have an account, you just click duplicate and it copies it 
in your workspace. Once you have it in your workspace, for every technical writing project that you do, you just work through this worksheet. For example, my current technical writing project is writing a document for building an app using Cockroach Cloud. So for that project, I know that my reader is probably somebody who's exploring the product. So I go here and then highlight it. I'm going to make it green. It is a new user. So I'm going to highlight that can be an intermediate user who has used the project before, can also be an experienced user, can be a new professional, can be an experienced professional, yes, definitely a developer. I don't think there would be an admin, I don't think there would be a contributor because Cockroach Cloud is not open source and they would not be experienced contributors either. So this gives me a very good idea of the range of experience I'm writing for. I'm writing for people who are new to the field or who have been in the field for a very long time and are new to the product or have already used the product. So having that scope and that range of the audience that you're writing for is a very grounding factor in writing documentation. Question two is what brought the reader to your document? So in my case, they want to build an app with Cockroach Cloud. How did they come across the document? They might have come across to it on docs or through marketing materials or through sales engineers or social media even because we promote our docs on social media. What information do they already have about the product? They might be familiar with the Cockroach Cloud cons console, but not necessarily. They are familiar with the language for the app. In my case, I'm building a Python app for Cockroach Cloud. What are the main questions? Uh, how do I create a Cockroach Cloud account? How do I create a Cockroach Cloud cluster? How do I connect to the cluster? How do I run queries? Connect the app, the app to the cluster. And how do I run queries? What state of mind is the reader in when they come to your document? I think the reader would be excited. They would also be optimistic because they are trying a new technology. They would also be curious. And I also think a few might be skeptical. We don't know if this thing works and they're just taking it for a spin. Based on the previous answer, what tone should the document have? It should have a conversational tone and it should have a professional tone because this might be the first introduction of the product to the user and I want it to have a professional, conversational, confident tone. What device would they use? I don't think they would use a mobile phone. Uh, I think it would be a laptop. How will the reader read the document? I think all three. I think they'll start with scanning it casually and then they will, when they start building things, they will read it in fragments. And if they get stuck somewhere, they will read particular sections thoroughly. Okay, this is a good starting point to understanding the reader experience. Now I need to figure out what the document requirements are to optimize for the reader experience. What transformation do you hope the reader achieves is I hope they will be able to learn something new and also probably make a decision if whether Cockroach Cloud is the right technology for them, uh, perform a task which is building an app. I think that's what the reader goals are. In order to understand a topic, the reader needs, they need to know the prerequisites. They need examples for sure. They need procedures. And then I can decide what document I should write. 
and based on what i know is that it needs to be a very concise and to the point and actionable document for users who are new to the product or who have used the product and are trying to figure out a particular part of the product i think the best match for this is a tutorial and to examine my unconscious bias so one trick i have found to examine my unconscious bias is that i have been trying to diversify my twitter feed because i'm pretty active on twitter and when i'm working on a technical writing project and i go on twitter and i see someone on my feed i try to see if the document that i'm working on right now would be useful to this person who is different from my default mental model i think this is effective to a certain extent and i'm looking for other ways to examine my unconscious bias so if you have any ideas for that please let me know in the comments down below so that's how i analyze my audience for my technical writing projects in the last video we discussed knowing your topic and in this video we discussed knowing your audience i think we are now ready to face the blank page and write our first draft that's the topic we will discuss in the next video